Last week on Project Sullivan, we prepped for paint. We used wire brushes and grinders to remove all the paint that wasn't powder coating. We welded up things that needed welding up, you know, for structural support or whatever. After that, we grinded off all the wheels and cleaned them up to make them ready for paint. And in conclusion, we washed the entire frame, cleaning off any overspray, scuffing up the surface, powder coat layer, so that the paint will stick when we go to put the primer. That's gonna suck. What? <laughs> that is a lot of brushes. Hello and welcome to Project Sullivan. As you can see, last week, what did we do? Didn't, wasn't that with a sandblaster? No, that was grinding. Yeah, there was a lot of grinding. Getting prepared for paint, we did the welding. Yeah. What'd you think? I think that the grinding hurt. The grinding hurt, what do you mean? I don't know, it was just sitting there like this for like an hour and a half, going back and forth. Forever, it seemed like, yeah. Well, it is what it is. Um, this week, uh, we got a little bit more breakdown to do. We got to get a couple more pieces prepared. Some of those finer detailed pieces ready for paint. We're going to have a special guest this episode. Oh, yeah, yeah. My dad will be joining us. We are, we're also going to break down the engine because we decided to paint the housing. Um, <laughs> that was your idea. <laughs> right. Did you learn anything special about electric motors? I learned that there's brush shit, brushless and brush. That's true. That's true. Which one's better? Brushless. Brushless is always better. On average, you'll get about 30% better battery life and 30% more power, something like that. Don't quote me, but that's kind of what it is. So, it's a good rule of thumb to think about. Always get brushless. If you're going to go with... Uh, this is an old goat cart. Electric tools. Yeah, well, I don't even Back know. then, it didn't have an option for brushless. Well, they may have, but there, there's not a lot of... This go-kart was from, like, 2006. Yeah, 2006. When was the first Tesla? 2006. We're going... This, it's a brushed motor. We're just going to stick with the brushed motor. Um, we were looking at price of other electric motors. It costs way too much. Well, they're also... It's for a little guy. He doesn't need to be driving that fast. He's only four. He just barely turned four. Actually, we gave it to him on his fourth birthday. Yeah, yeah, he already has way too much power <laughs> for his size. You should see that thing when I was on it. Right. Um, we, we're trying to go more in depth on our videos, uh, explain kind of how the process works with the uh, electric engine. Yeah. In this case, maybe some of the rundown of how the electrics work in an electric vehicle. Um, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Especially subscribe. We want to start. We want to start seeing. We want to hit that thousand subscribers mark. You know, that's our big thing right now. Yeah. So we're gonna have my first attempts at any kind of animation. So don't make fun of it. I think I did really well for a first time attempt. And uh, we'll see how that goes. So stay tuned until the end. See you then.
Hercules, Hercules. I didn't break this one. It's falling apart though. Just a little bit. Let's not ever get those ever again. Okay. Well, the Allen wrenches themselves seem to be doing fine. It's the the grips that are horrible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we got to, yeah, I got to disassemble. Like right now I'm taking apart the steering wheel. So, cause I gotta, to get the floor pan out, cause the wires go through the floor pan, I gotta disassemble all this so we can get this ready. If we're gonna paint the bottom, whatever. And um, then, after we do that, we can, um, like I said, get paint or whatever done on this stuff, but I gotta get these wires out through there first, so. One of them things you just gotta do. The tedious part. This wire right here is for the lights that I had at one point, but we're not gonna run those again. So we'll just take that out, but I'll save it because it's got an inline fuse. Look, you see it? What? There's a tiny hole right there. Oh, if I stretch I out four yeah. paper clips and put them in there to hold them back, and then I pull hole. all four out. My eyes aren't that good to see that hole. I was just seeing it right now. I didn't see those little holes. If I straighten out four paper clips, they'll hold all the brushes back. Put the holes on the side? Yeah. That's how they do it. I don't see no holes there. You'll see. Let him get them paper clips. I see the slot on the side, yeah. You'll see how I do this. I got it figured out now. Do you bend it in the U and put it in the slots? I'm gonna put straighten out four paper clips. That way they all hold the brushes back. Then I can just pull the paper clips out as we attach it. There you go. Watch this, go go. Hopefully this paper clip's not too fat though. No. Let's test one real quick. Okay, so I'm gonna straighten this out. Then there's a hole in the brush, you say? No, watch. You can go back to your normal spot. Okay, that out. Then I'm gonna do this. How about you do that side? Uh. All right. Uh, that hole's real small. I can't hardly see it. You can see where the oh, I see it now. the paper clip is. Yeah. I didn't see that hole. Yeah, I saw that hole. Like, oh, that's it. It's that hole. Yeah, that does make a difference there. Now, see, Logan, the voltage comes in from the engine right here, and then it connects to this. These little things. See how they're on springs? Come over here closer. And they're all built that way. They have to have... No, no, no. They have brushless now. They have brushless now, but for the old stuff. Okay, so this is this is a regular motor. It's not brushless. These are brushes. Okay. And these brushes 
rub across this center piece right here. That's where the voltage goes in to spin it. So, and when it does, it creates a voltage in here. And it's a, a magnet against a magnet. And, and when you get two magnets, you you ever felt them where they push against each other? Well, that's what that does. But the, every time it hits one of those slots, the electricity on that on that brush right here, it take magnetizes the 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 center part. The outside's already a magnet. This thing here. Yeah, right here is the permanent magnet on the inside, and that's a strong magnet. Feel the weight on that. This magnet? Yeah, Whoa. That's just, that's that's just a, a magnet. magnet. That's what they're doing nowadays. That's why the starters are so small. They went to uh, those type of magnets. They're not real. Uh, here. They're not real steel cast. They're a composite more than they are a uh, cast iron. Ca uh, a regular st real magnets are real hard to come by anymore. Well, they, they make them and they can actually make them stronger now. Because they, they mix them with neodymia coating and it, it makes the magnet ten times stronger than it originally was. Well, That's know. why they have those neodymium magnets. Uh, you get the original magnets from up north and cast the iron ones. Those suckers are really super strong. Not like a neodymium though. I don't know. It's holding you down. Well, that's gravity. Not, that's not a lot of voltage. You get a big enough magnet, you can do anything with it. You mean like uh, what the doctors use? For an MRI? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, there's a hole on either side of that, too. Okay, okay. Did not know that. So if I do this... Yeah, I didn't see that hole. It's too small for my. That eyes. hole is the key. Now that's the only way it goes together. It doesn't work otherwise. You know those newer starters that they put in these uh, newer cars? Those suckers are so strong. That's the same thing. Well, you're gonna start seeing brushless motors in in starter in cars soon because they're thirty percent stronger and they're. So well, you can make they don't have smaller. the friction or nothing. Yeah. They take less battery power to start. They are more powerful. Yeah. Yeah, put a little bit of grease on the end of that or inside that bearing. Oh no. This thing's still good, so I don't know. I wouldn't touch it. Yeah, it's sealed and it's good. Why would I... I always oil them. Something that ain't broke. Yeah, that's a good one. Just like, uh... Is the, that guy that says on the ray on the TV, if it ain't broke, don't don't fix it. Yep. Well, everybody says that. That's an old saying. Well, he said it. You know. But you either do take that wire out of there, up there, and put the wood and the roof. But and then, then what am I going to have for a paint rack? Well, then you hold the put <laughs> Then you put the cement out that way. That, that would do. And make this garage bigger. <laughs> and then you build me a garage on the other side of this, see? Right? Uh, I need a garage. Yeah, well, you, it would be I need an actual shop. Yeah, you do. See, this part right here, Logan, actually belongs to that piece of property up there. Past that semen. I don't know why they did that. That's because the city. Okay, now that the housing's not on, you can see, Gogo. -Go. See how the brush is right there? I have them all slid in. They're being held back by these pins. Yeah. And they spin around that contact right there. Okay. And that's what gives it the voltage. Each one of these little lines right here that you see. Okay. Is a separation point. That's a separation point. It separates the points of this coil. So as it's spinning, the motor's spinning, it'll switch where the magnets are. And that's what makes the motor Those spin. Because if it stayed the same polarity constantly, it wouldn't work because it would just stay in one spot hovering. So you got to have it to where it switches. 
Yeah, it switches constantly. And and it's different wires are switching different ones because you got four brushes. So you have four four different brushes work at the same time. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna leave this just like this. Let's clean this up, go go and paint it. We're actually gonna paint the motor. That's just the housing. It can be generational. This thing doesn't die. I bought another battery, by the way. Oh, you did? $40. Oh. Because them $20 batteries, Scott claimed those $20 batteries at Walmart. I couldn't find them. Well, you guys watched that video. Thank you. Yeah. What did you think about the situation afterwards? You know, now that, now that we've torn apart the rest of the engine. Our... I don't see why we had to tear apart the entire engine. Well, you know, we wanted to check and make sure everything was good inside, and we wanted to paint the housing, and that was the main reason. Yeah, but now we can't... Are we even going to be able to see the housing? There will be a time we see the housing. and In what? When we, in 10 years when we take this thing apart again? Probably. Well, and that's, that's one of them things. It's like, those little attentions to detail is what makes you better than the next guy that does it. Yeah, but you can't see the housing... Yeah, but those people that are really interested are, are going to look, because you can see it from the side a little bit, and you're like, wow, they even painted the housing even matches this go-kart. You know? It's it's like the um, the bars underneath. Nobody's going to see the scrape bars underneath, the, yeah. the scratch bars. But we painted those, we were going to paint those too. It's So you see that detail and the level of detail and care someone put into a project. Those are the kind of things that take a project... From this level of, yeah, they did it, to this level of, wow, they did it. <laughs> What's going to happen in the next episode? Uh, next week's episode, we will be actually starting to paint. Uh, we have a little I bit... I smelled like paint for like three days. <laughs> we both did. <laughs> it's exciting. To say the least. It's exciting to start seeing it all come together. When we start uh -huh. painting it and stuff... You start looking at it, and you're like, wow, it's brand new again. So I can't wait to get to that point. I can't, I, wait, to I, I can't wait either. Uh, hopefully you turn in next week and check us out. Like, comment, and subscribe. We're trying to hit that 1,000 subscriber mark. And if we hit that 1,000 subscriber mark or even come close, we'll start showing you some kind of plan we have for 1,000 subscriber mark. So stay tuned. Like, comment, and subscribe, please.